Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the new NYX Milky Glosses. Yes. And I've got the whole range that we have over here in the UK, except for FOMO. I didn't see that in Superdrug, so I couldn't obviously pick that one up. But I have all the others. And I can't wait to show you guys. I've already tried them and I love the formula. These are literally gonna be my new go-to lip glosses for the whole summer. So let's get straight into this video. Right, so I'm gonna try them on in the order that I like most, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so I'm gonna try the ones I like most first and then the ones I like least last. And I'm also gonna be lining my lip with just a brown liner. I can't find my other ones, so this one's gonna have to do. I will try them on without liner first and then put the liner on afterwards, just to show you guys what they look like, because some of them do come off a bit too What's the word? Opaque. So definitely gonna need a lip liner for some of them. And some of them, like my favorite one, you don't actually have to wear any lip gloss, any lip liner, sorry, at all. So the first one is called Milk It Pink. It's got like a, what's the word? A glassy, hollow looking packaging. That makes any sense, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, this is Milk It Pink. And at first I was thinking that this is probably gonna be a bit too light for me, but I really do like the way it looks on me. It's very translucent and it just gives you like a cloudy lip gloss look. So that's what the milky lip glosses are. They're like a cloudy, little bit of color, hint of color kind of vibe. Ain't she pretty? <laughs> yeah, this is Milky Pink. I should have bought two of these because I love this one so much. I apply a little bit more. So that's how I would typically wear the lip gloss. I wouldn't put more than that because it's just gonna get too opaque and look a bit too white on my skin. And I'm gonna try it with a lip liner. Probably can't tell any difference because I think this lip liner is quite weak, but that's what it looks like with some lip liner. Very pretty, I think I'll be wearing this one out tonight. <laughs> so my next favourite shade is Milk and Honey. I think this is my favourite one actually. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a normal lip gloss but it's just got a very, very slight colour to it. And this is what Milky Gloss means to me. It looks like a little glaze. Think of a Krispy Kreme donut, like the glaze on that. This is what it reminds me of. And this is what it looks like with a lip liner. As I said, the lip liner is very weak. <laughs> so, these are probably the only two shades that don't need a lip liner. There might be another one or two actually that don't need a lip liner, but we'll see. So the next shade I really like is Milk the Cocoa. And this one is quite dark. Love, love, love the package. This one reminds me of the Bark Glosses. I've heard some say it looks like cinnamon roll. Again, I wouldn't really use this with a lip liner, but it's really close to my skin color. So I feel like I need to break it up a bit and apply the lip liner. So yeah, that's Milk the Cocoa. As you can see, it's more opaque than the rest. This is Milk the Cocoa with some lip liner. I love it. This is where it kind of like, just kind of <clears throat> a little bit because the next favorite would be Cookies and Milk. But cookies and milk, you definitely need a lip liner. Like it's really opaque. Let me show you guys what it looks like on. <laughs> yeah, let's put some lip liner on straight away. When I was watching some reviews on the milky lip glosses, one YouTuber said that the lip glosses remind her of when you're wearing your lip gloss for too long and you start to get like little clumps in the corner of your mouth. 
I like it what she means, like the cloudiness of it. But yeah, no, it's really much more cute than that. <laughs> so yeah, this is cookies and milk. Yeah, cookies and milk. Four more. Who's next? I'll go with the ones that actually surprised me. I like peachy tones. So a bit of honey was more of a peachy tone for the butter glosses range. So I knew, kind of knew that Moody Peach would look really good on me. So this is Moody Peach. You see? She really did surprise me. She reminds me of Milk It Pink, the first one I tried but just a little less pink. I really love this shade. Again, she don't need no lip liner. I'm gonna rub it in a little bit because it's giving me that effect. Don't like it. So yeah, I do think one swipe is okay. I don't think you need to go overboard with these lip glosses. Moody peach. <laughs> and this is Moody peach with a little bit of lip liner. <laughs> I really do love doing these kind of videos. I just wish I was better at makeup. So I'll be doing makeup videos. <laughs> so. The next shade that really surprised me actually was Lilac Slash. I really like this one. I didn't think I would, but I do. This one looks like how FOMO would look like. I really want to get that blue one. It's just different to what I usually have or what I would usually pick. I wouldn't put more than that on though because I feel like it will just make it look a bit too opaque. Again, I keep using that word. It would just make it not milky. It will make it more of a, you know, a coloured gloss. So that's like like Splash Lip Liner. I'm telling you, she surprised me. She did. And it reminds me of like a Barbie purple. You know what I mean? Like that light, well, yeah, lilac. <laughs> It's really nice, I really like that one. And the last two shades, they're very opaque, they're not sheer at all, and they definitely need a lip liner. Yeah, so the next shade is Pink Shake. I haven't seen this one on YouTube yet, so I don't know if this is a new colour, or if it's a colour that's put over here, I don't know, I don't think they will do that, but she looks like Madeline, a little bit, from the butter glosses. She's there. So let me show you what she looks like on. See what I mean? I can't wear hair without a lip liner. That's ridiculous. So yeah, this is Pink Shake with lip liner. And she looks much better, don't you think? You don't need to apply a lot at all. Just one swipe. And last but not least, we have Cherry Skimmed. This one was quite deceiving. I thought it would be a really good match for me and I thought I'd really love it but yeah it's a bit too opaque for me but I do love the shade of pink that it is it's probably one of my favorite pinks yeah it's a really nice shade of pink as I said you can't wear it without a lip liner and with these lip glosses I'm looking for something that I can just you no know, swipe on quitting so that's cherry skimmed and that's cherry skin top with a little bit like lip liner So yes, that's all the swatches I have for you guys. I believe that's all the shades that they have at the moment, except for FOMO, as I said before. The blue one, I actually really like that one, so I wanna get that one as well when they drop it over here. Yeah, I really love the formula on these lip glosses. They're not too sticky, and they're not too wet, if that's the one. Like, it doesn't feel like Vaseline on your, on your lips. Yeah, so if you're over here in the UK, you know about these lip glosses, and you know how thick these lip glosses are like it's not thick like that at all my hair got my lip it's not gonna stick too much <laughs> yeah so it's not gonna get stuck on my lips if my hair goes on my lip like it's not it's not mad sticky but it's it's still thick enough to stay on your lip and i also like the applicator they're really flat so they make the lip gloss glide on really nice and smoothly i like the size 
that it is as well because obviously butt glosses are quite small and this is a full size lip gloss. I got mine for £7 each and they were three for two on NYX products as well so I got quite lucky. I was able to get all eight shades for only £35. So yeah, and I actually got one for my niece as well. So <laughs> she was happy about it because she actually bought one for nine pounds. And yeah, I was able to get the whole range for 35. Yeah, if you're lucky like me, hooray. If not, then just pick your favorite. As I said, my favorites are these three, Milk and Honey, Milk and Pink, and Moody Peak. So first, second, third. Next would be Lilac Splash, Pink Shake, and Milk the Cocoa. Fourth, fifth, Sixth, and then my least favorite would be cookies and milk and cherry skinned so seventh and eighth but it's still very nice shade because a lot of people really like cookies and milk but not too sure about it and milk the cocoa i feel like it just it's a bit too close to my skin tone so it's throwing me off a little bit if i was to recommend any it would be these four for sure like to get that milky lip gloss it's supposed to have just just like a hint of color you know if you mix water and milk <laughs> have like a cloudiness over it blah, 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 blah. so yeah those are all the shades that are over here in the uk i would just go off what they look like on me so if you are a little bit more fair skinned than i am then the lighter shades will look good on you um if you're a bit darker then the lighter shades might not look so good on you yeah so just go off that but you can also work it with a lip liner as you know a lot of new shades look really good on our dark skin if it's just paired with a lip liner so yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. Don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!